Hello guys, um, I've had a few requests now, how did I um, hack this N97? Um, it's currently out of battery, so I'm going to talk for a bit and come back when it's charged up. Um, the three files you need, uh, they'll be in the description. A few of them, uh, the Phoenix one is quite big, uh, it might take you a while to download. And there is my hack right there. And Navi Firm is where you download your firmware. When you download Navi Firm, uh, you want to open this up. Uh, you should get a little. Um, set your target as production external. The Nokia N97. Um, see what it says RM505. Um, if you look under the battery in your phone, it will tell you which version you have. Um, my hack, unfortunately, is only for RM505 because I don't have any other products to make it work on any of the others. But if I did, then I probably could. But yeah, uh, where is it? In 97 RM505, you want to click on that. So I'm a bit shaky. Okay, and then you want to click on the latest version, which is 220110. Click on that, and then this column should load. Now, variants, and uh, this is where you get obviously your your firmware from. Um, you got to select the correct um, network and country you're in. As you can see, I'm on the free UK GB black. You don't have to use that. I u I didn't even use that actually. I'm on free. I used um, uh, Levant Common English. Um, it's the same thing. Uh, your phone doesn't have to be unlocked. I don't think. But yeah. Um, then you want to select all of these up here. And you want to download them with program, and you want to save them to a folder on your desktop, maybe called N97 firmware. Okay, uh, I'm not going to download it, I already have, and it takes a while. Uh, once you have that, uh, your firmware will be in here, and you want to drag it into a local disk. Program files. This is after you installed Phoenix, by the way. You, you have to install Phoenix. I'm not gonna go through that with you because I don't have the files. But yeah, um, Nokia. Look for Nokia. Uh, there it is. Open Nokia. Choose Phoenix over here. Uh, choose products. Um, make a folder called RM505. Spelt exactly that way. If it's not already one there, I doubt it was. It is. And then you want to copy everything in you into this folder. Um, even, and then the hack that you downloaded that I gave you, you want to go ahead and put that in there also. And if it asks you to replace, click yes. It might not even do that. Uh, once you've done that, hopefully my phone's charged up. Um, if the USB prompt comes up, make sure you select PC Suite. Uh, as you can see, the USB PC Suite mode, as you can see. I have a very low battery, so I'm going to have to do this pretty quick. Okay, open up your Phoenix application. Um, go up to product... Uh, File, um, file, scan product. Um, then the, as you can see, it says RM505, and then the version of your firmware. All that we need to know is that it's RM505. Once you've made sure of that, you can go up to flashing, um, firmware update. Uh, that should already be selected. Then you want to click refurbish, not restore user product. Um, I'm not going to do that now, I'll lose all my stuff. 
And yeah, about that, you don't lose all your stuff, you just lose what's ever on the phone storage. You don't lose your mass storage, which is your 32 gig, or anything else, just your contacts and stuff. But you can back them up in, uh, you click refurbish, and then once that's done, you can turn your phone on. Um, it might, for the first time, it might say Psycho Steve at the startup, I don't know if, I, if it does, I can't remember. But yeah, my phone battery's died. If you go to applications, you should, uh, should see ROM patcher. And then you use those two things in ROM patcher to install your unsigned software. Um, that's it. If you want to know any more in detailed stuff, then you just got to ask me. Goodbye.